everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. Uh, the first thing I want to do is thank everybody for the great comments um, about different kind of weapon systems, different loadouts. It's making me rethink of some of the, some of our mechs right now. Um, but uh, right now, we got the Archer back in seven days and financial report in 11 days. Now, I could jump to another system to take missions there, but I'm thinking like that'll give us the Archer back and I can rearm it. But I think I want to try and go for some more parts and stuff. We've got enough sea bills for the end of the month and possibly into the next month. Um, and I'm, I've decided, uh, if we go to the mech bay real quick, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take the Apollo, the loadout it's currently got, and we're going to shift that over to the Archer. Now, I considered putting the arrow system in the Archer, um, but I'm thinking a heavy LRM boat with our, um, if we go to components here, with equipment, uh, is it here? Probably here. Where are you here? Not the Artemis, but oh, we'll, we'll probably have an Artemis system in it. Um, but uh, we do have in one of our mechs the ranged targeting system, uh, the ER targeting. Now, which one is it in here? I think it's in here. But yeah, the sensors tracker. We're going to pull this out of here. Um, and I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier, but I want to thank everybody who mentioned it. Um, because it's giving us more accuracy at longer ranges, it's much better in a long-range missile mech than it is in this short-range boat, which I think we're, is, you know, that's like an obvious thing that I just completely missed. So we're going to do that. We're going to pull it out of here, Put it probably put it in the Archer. Um, most likely pull the fire control system Artemis 3 out of here as well and put it in the Archer. Now, the wonderful thing about this, and somebody mentioned this too, the difference between this one and the Artemis 4. Uh, the Artemis 4 gives us the ability to use Artemis ammo. And if that's all we're using, then it's great because the Artemis ammo is plus two to hit and minus two off of the uh, um, evasion, right? So if we go down here, oh, sorry, it's plus one evasion, pips and Nord, uh, plus one direct fire accuracy. So it's slightly better than regular ammo if we're just using this. But the Artemis three system, um, I apologize, I can't remember who mentioned it, is is superior because it adds it to all of the uh, missiles, right? So it's just a bonus for all missiles. Even though we don't get the bonus for direct fire, that's fine. Um, with the uh, tracker sensors uh, added to our long-range boat, um, it'll definitely improve the accuracy at longer ranges, so I'm not really worried about that. So that's kind of what I got planned. So it'll most likely be the Artemis three that we use. Um, and the uh, sensors tracker in the Archer. And then the Apollo, the Apollo, I mean, we've, we've got an opportunity to do a couple of things with the Apollo. It does have the stealth axle on it, but we do have like missile hard points on, or sorry, laser hard points on this thing uh, and missile hard points. So, I mean, we can do a laser build with arms and then short range missiles in the torsos. So this may end up being the pulse laser streak boat um, that we have currently on the, um, on uh, the Hellspawn. So we may switch this around a little bit uh, and move it over. But right now we don't really have the time or um, the sea bills to be doing all of that right now. So what we're gonna do is work on getting the Apollo and the Archer switched around, pull the command modules out of this guy and put them into here, uh, get those command uh, things straightened around between these three, uh, and then worry about switching the, the Hellspawn stuff over to the Apollo a little bit later on. We'll see how it goes, but um, I, it's just the number of days it's going to take. I want to keep us in the fight as long as uh, as long as possible and be out as little as possible. So if we go to the command center, there's a mission here I want to pull off today, and I apologize for some of the last episodes that were really long. I think for some of these now, I think we're gonna I'm gonna keep them to one mission, and I'll take the longer mission at the start. So like the assassinate missions or um, like the like the uh, base defense missions, which seem to be taking a long period of time. We'll save those for uh, just a single episode, so the episodes aren't two hours. Now I've never done an attack and defend before, so I thought this might be a good one to take today. Plus the salvage is 521. So we're going to take this guy. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I was going to take Reconquest, but I did try to do this one like three times. And each time I would pull off my first turn, and then the en we'd get to an enemy turn, and it would just sit and hang. And in one of them, I was able to see an urban mech stuck in a building. So I'm wondering if mechs were getting stuck in building and they couldn't move, so the game was, was locking up. So we're not doing Recon Reconquest today. I will try it on another planet. 
Maybe it's the urban environment. There's so many buildings. I'm not exactly sure what the deal was, but we will try this on a different planet because it, it seemed awesome. Uh, but I think what we'll do is we'll do Thorn in the side instead. Now, this is an assassinate mission. Uh, it is urban environment, but I think we'll be, we'll be fine with this one. Uh, it is uh, uh, one and a half skull, a little tougher than this one, but not as good salvage. So we're going to take this guy today, I think, uh, and we're going to negotiate it. See how we do. Full salvage, accept it. Um, and I was saying um, before I re-edited that we were talking about Healy and there was some uh, mention in the comments about um, taking one skill point, you know, uh, accepting it and then taking another skill point and accepting that, accepting that. We did try that and these both reverted to three again after we raised them to four. So the last, I think it was last episode, we doubled this. We doubled guts. We added two points on the guts to see if it would keep both points but it looks like it only kept one so we may have to add two skill points for every rank up for anything that's not gunnery i i don't know piloting seemed to go up just fine but it's guts and tactics that just seem to be weird so i'm not sure why that is um we don't have enough experience to add uh, two points to tactics right now we need another 1400 or so so hopefully we can pull that off today get 1400 and try that on tactics to see if we can get it to four and then I think we just save our points for gunnery and piloting and leave these at four. But we're going to bring her back into battle and let's deploy and get this done. Alright, here we go. Go to horde, they said. See the world, they said. All I see are local government battle mechs lovely. Uh-huh. Alright. So it looks like we got our bad guys over here. Once our target is down, head to the extraction for pickup. Are you crazy? Well, there's concrete and concrete. Um, yeah. And a little more concrete. And some trees, a little bit of trees anyway. Um, yeah, we ain't leaving. Um, we want to try a splatter shot with this one. Sure, why not? Because okay. it's turn one. It Clear the way for us, buddy. Got some buildings in our way here. All right. Got a flank shot on this guy. Uh, yeah, we got to get that uh, sensors tracker and that thing. Yes, that was a wonderful spot out. And I apologize. I can't remember who it was that uh, spotted that for me. But I think this is a way that we can't go. It sure as hell is a way we can't go. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're taking the road. Um... Let's take the road. Copy that, Commander. Probably better for not running over buildings. Although they're gonna have to replace all these cars and buses. Lotto boost. Alright. Infiltrator. He's an infiltrator. Full throttle. Alright. Just gonna get up here. How might I, I got a feeling we're not gonna be using the local government lance in this one. Yes, yeah, so I'm kind of excited about the Archer loadout. That's one mech that we can actually... Uh, not, and of course, I say that, then these guys move up. They must have heard me on the comms. Um, the one thing I, I, I can say about uh, having that Archer now is I'm kind of excited about loading that thing out. We, oh my god, please stop. You know where I put my ambush? I put my foot in your ass. There, there's your ambush. Um, so, yeah before Darius rudely interrupted me about the Archer. Um, that's one mech we do have some systems for. We do have a lot of LRMs, MRMs. Um, I don't think we have any MMLs. And if we did have any, I'm pretty sure I sold them. Um, but I'm going to not sell them from now on. I apologize. Uh, somebody mentioned that the ML MMLs might work out really, really well for us. So, especially with the Artemis 3 system. Um, so that's something I might look into doing. Um, where would the... Uh, where are the enemy other enemies? Um, I don't see... We got guys up there. Well, if we're going to get ambushed, we're going to get ambushed. Let's just make our way to where we need... Well, we want to flank left or flank right? 
think we should flank. And I think we've got more room to maneuver this way. So let's go this way. Oh, well, there's the reinforcements. And I'm walking right into them because that's that's how I do. What do we got here? Urban mech. LRM-20 standard. A couple of mediums and a small laser. Let's just burn this guy up. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the tag. We'll hold off on that for now. Yeah, spread it around. Couldn't they all hit the CT, huh? Scratching the paint. Stop it. Right here. All right, buddy. You're woefully out of position. I'm going to wait. Uh, you're going to reserve. Get these guys out of the way. You can get a little closer, maybe. Maybe. There's a chopper. A nightshade. Let's shoot that sucker down if we can. That's Gundall's target. Got another turdby down here. Okay, we got... What is this? It's a mech... Two, two mechs in a vehicle. That looks like another urban mech. Nightshade trying to decide what it's going to do here. Let's hope it's not shooting at the guys down here. They're clustered. That would be bad. Well, as long as it misses. Come on, buddy. You know what you want to do. All you got to do is do it. Yeah, I'm kind of see what, excited to see what we can do with the Archer. We've got LRM-15s. We've got an MRM-30, I think. or I know we got an MRM-20 and a couple of MRM-10s, but they're direct fire only, so I don't know if I want to go that route with the Archer. That could be an Apollo thing, maybe, as a stopgap. Um, but we do have... <coughs> excuse me. On the Apollo, we do have two clan LRM-15s which we could put on it. And I do have regular LRM-5s and other LRM-15s and stuff that we could put on it as well. Um, so we could go with an LRM-60 on the Archer. That might be a possibility. Oh, nice. Whole lot of nothing. Yeah. Hi, right, Goofy, I need you up here, buddy. No, no, you got your orders. Get the hell up here. Dude, move it. Yeah, so, I mean, we can get a good loadout on that. I think I'll probably end up leaving the streak on the... Um, now, we're hidden by the building, right? This guy's got to move to get us? Yeah. And this is a commando. Okay. Um, oh, see ya. He's a fucking stick now. Nope, he's dead. He just decided to leave. He's like, oh, my weapons are gone. What the? What's, what's the point? I thought you liked me. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, we liked you as a target. Dude. Seriously. Um, now, do we want to get you on the chopper? No, I, we need you up here. Can we get... We can get the commando. Can we... Come on. There we go. One more. There we are. You got it. Let's get up here. All right. Yeah, so I think maybe we leave the streak... On, the streak 15 on the... Um, on the... Uh, oh my god, my brain is fried. On the uh, Apollo... And maybe throw an MRM, because the Streak 15, we need to have direct line of sight. So that, I think, is probably a good idea to leave on the Apollo. Beautiful. Oh, he's got Artemis 4 for the SRM-6, really. Stealing our kills. Stealing our kills. Here comes another Earth Turbine. Turbine mech. I really shouldn't say Turbine mech, man, because Seeks, like, they're tough fighters. Don't know if you guys know any Seeks, but man, I'm telling you. Zero fear. Seek warriors, man. Zero fear. There's a great uh, uh, example of this. Um, and I wish I could remember the name of the battle, and I apologize to any Sikhs that are watching. I don't know if there is or not. But there's a, a fantastic battle that was done. Um, they were fighting for the British, and they were against um, uh, other tribesmen. Um, and I, oh God, I wish I could remember the name of it. But they, it was a fort. It was a battle in a fort, 
uh, in India and these guys held out against there was like 20 of them I think 20 to 30 of them and they held out against I don't know how many attackers they all died um, but they held out against like four or five thousand attackers and and in the end there was like one guy left and he was like fighting hand to hand and it was just like a ridiculous whole like st they were basically holding out to, to stop them capturing this pass and cutting off one of the uh, British forts and man what a battle you guys get a chance go look it up I wish I can remember the name of the I wish I can remember the name of the fort I apologize I don't remember it but there is a battle with these these Sikhs had this last stand it's like I'm sure if you go on YouTube and search like famous last stands you'll find it and these guys just held out it was just I, I couldn't believe when I what I was what I was uh, what I was reading but there was just like no surrender there's none there was it didn't even enter their mind to surrender it's like now we're holding this fort sorry we're not going anywhere and they just stood they stayed there and fought until they had like no ammo left no nothing then they still fought you know Ooh. wow well let's just fire it maybe we take the building down nope we gotta get our pulses and streaks on this guy goofy you gotta get over here man I mean, that's the other thing too is, oh, they knocked the building down. The chopper won't take any damage, though, I don't think. Um, that's the other thing too is if we pull the pulses and streaks off of the um, uh, Hellspawn and put it on the Apollo, right, we'd have a streak 15. Who the hell shot that? Streak 15, pair of streak SRM 6s. We got the streak four we could put on there. We could pull it off the Centurion though. And then pulse lasers. I mean that could be a viable option, although the heat would be ridiculous. We'd have to find a way to bring all the heat down. That's the biggest thing right now too, is we don't have a lot of um, options for heat sinking. So we'll have to work around that too. But yeah, that's seek battle, man, I'm telling you. Usually I call it urban mech a, 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 a turd bee or a, a turban or I don't want to call it a turban mech but you know what I mean. It's like a turd right? Not turban. Yeah so uh, you know in Canada here I don't know if you guys saw the uh, um, one of the uh, candidates for the uh, uh, NDP in Canada the uh, New, New Democratic Party. Um, people like to call them socialists but they're not really socialists at all. Um, was a Sikh uh, named Yagmeet Singh, and I don't know if I don't know if there's an interview with him where he takes off his turban, and it shows you what his hair looks like, and he looks like Jason Momoa, totally does. I, I like you, you when he takes his turban off, you look at him and you're like, holy crap, dude! <laughs> like, he's like a really good-looking guy. It's just weird with the uh, the turban on for some reason. It completely changes his features and stuff, right? So, anyway, but he's a really nice guy. I ended up voting for him in the election. Not because he's a nice guy, but because he had the right policies. He re was really the only civil leader in the whole race. He's the least divisive guy, too. Like, he just doesn't want to have any divisiveness in the country. Right? He wants to bring everybody together, which is Im really important for any country, right? Wow, this guy's got a really good uh, evasion set up here. Well, we got some damage on him. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, the, uh, I mean, Justin Trudeau, don't get me wrong, he's a nice enough guy, and, you know, a lot of people don't like him in this country, um, but he's, like, out of all the prime ministers we've had, he is the one that's delivered on the most amount of his promises, campaign promises. It's shocking, but it's true. Like, um, everything that he promised during the campaign, I, I think it was like 92% of his promises during the campaign he delivered on, which is the most out of any prime minister in Canada. So if you voted for the guy and what he was was advocating he was going to deliver, you, you got what you asked for. 
with the exception of pro proportional rep representation, which is the big thing that we need to get on here. Right now, we're in Canada, we're still a first-past-the-post system, which I'm not sure if you guys are know anything about first-past-the-post or proportional representation. First-past-the-post means, you know, whoever um, has the most number of votes in a riding wins the riding, and then that riding um, um, then elects the person to um, uh, the parliament, right? So if you win X number of ridings, even though you may only have support of like, let's say 31% of the population or 33% of the population, you could still technically almost win a majority in Canada, which is completely like, I find completely dysfunctional, which is a completely divisive thing. What you want is a system like uh, proportional representation, meaning they add up all of the votes that you get from across the country and whatever percentage of votes that you get is the number of people you can send to parliament, which is just makes sense. Then, you know, the, whoever is voting for um, the Liberal Party, the Conservative Party, or the New, New, New Democrats, the Green Party, or Bloc Québécois, whoever, the, whatever you vote for, they get a certain percentage of votes in, in the parliament. Whereas right now, it's like you don't need to have that. All you need to do is win a certain number of ridings. And if the ridings don't have the same amount of people, like some ridings have a lot of people in them, some have very little. So if you win a, win a lot of the ones with very little people in them, you're, you've got the support of the least amount of people in Canada, which is very, very bizarre. But um, yeah, I, I, I just, I, it's just very confusing to me why they want to keep that system. Well, I know why they want to keep a system of government, because it makes it easier to get a majority government in Canada. But I find, like if you look at all the governments in Canada, um, the ones that have been the most successful are what, what are called minority governments, meaning they didn't get quite enough to have enough people in parliament to pass whatever they want. So they have to work with other groups and compromise and come up with a solution that everyone can be kind of um, relatively agreeing on, right? Which to me is a better form of government. And more things get passed and done with minority governments than with majority governments. More things that matter to everybody else, like to Canadians. Like with the Stephen Harper government, uh, which was a conservative government a little while back, they did a lot to squash science in this country. Um, and I won't go into everything, but I mean, it's like there's nobody, like there's, you, you can't fight against it, right? Because they've got majority, you, you, you can't stop them from doing what they're going to do. At the detriment to the country, right? You know what I mean? It's like, it doesn't matter what you think. As long as he's convinced that that's the right thing to do, there's nothing that we can do to stop him which is completely ridiculous. Oh, why can't I? Okay, there we go. Okay, we're gonna move up here. Confirm. Okay, now I need to th think here. Where's the road going? Up in this way. Or this one kind of goes down. Can we get through here? I think we can. Okay, so maybe we pull... Hmm. Can we get a direct line of sight in this truck? We can. So let's get around here. On my way. Let's smoke this cargo truck. Yeah, looks like we can go through there. Nice. Sure, let's use the barrage. Oops, we're overheated. <laughs> yeah, it's my fault. Sorry about that. That's... <laughs> Talking and fighting. Doesn't work well for me. Um, okay, so that's a... Okay, let's just get up here. Got it. Full speed, no target. Just step on as many cars as you possibly can. Weave them back and forth there. Beautiful. Okay, let's get you up here as well. Okay, there's the vehicle, two vehicles. Oh, we got a hunchback, looks like. Yep, 4E, I don't know what that is. But yeah, you know, if, yeah, I'm very much um, a person that's like, you know, we need to work together. And, uh, you know, different governments or different people have different thoughts as to what the country should be doing. And I think working in, as a group um, in a minority government to come up with a solution that everyone cannot necessarily be a hundred percent happy with but everyone can live with is you know the best way to go you know 
Oh, risk four, eh? Like I'm fully I'm fully behind um, the government healthcare system. Oh, that's our guy. That's our guy. All right, Hellion, let's get up here. Oh, we got someone else over here. What do we got? Deputy Dog. Oh my God, somebody's watching cartoons. Uh, well, let's spin this rack up and give Deputy Dog a warm, a warm welcome to the fight here. Welcome, Deputy Dog. See ya. That one's done for. Good thing you didn't have full armor. Jadger's gonna make an approach, is he? It's fine by me. So it looks like we've got three of the four on this side. And three of the four on the other side. So there must be the... So this guy is probably a part of the other lance? I don't know. Maybe this guy... Maybe the leader's got a full lance up here somewhere. Now, can we get down on the other side if we get up here? Oops. I gotta stop doing that. Stop adjusting the map when the enemy's going. Yeah, I don't think we can get down on this side. No, it's a... Oh, we can. We can kind of go through here. Yeah, thanks for showing up, guys. Make sure you target their boss so he has the most opportunity to run away. All right. Uh, Dallas. Mm, no. Infiltrator. Because you're up front. I don't think that Hunchback's going to be able to come around the corner, but let's get as far up as we can this turn. I don't think that Hunchback's got the juice to get up and around the corner. This vehicle might, but I don't really care. Yeah, enough politics. I'm not talking politics anymore. It can be too divisive. I got a friend that's really, really um, conservative. Still a friend of mine. We 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 just completely disagree on a lot of things. What's the plan? Um, but you know he's a great guy. He just you know we just completely disagree on politics, and it's the same thing with religion too. Like I've got my own views. Like I'm completely atheist, right? I've got my own views on religion, but and I got a friend that's like, you know super like super religious like he's a devout christian right and it's like i, I it doesn't matter what your religion is we're you know you got your views i got mine as long as we can live together as people that's all that matters you know as long as you don't try to inflict your views on me that's that's i'm good with it whatever you know and yeah you know and and, and when you take that over to politics it's like yeah i'll vote against you for sure i will because you know i disagree with what you think about how the country should be run but it doesn't mean we can't live together as people in the country, you know? Unless the government's doing something to harm us all or harm most of the people, then, you know, we can live together. No problem. All right, now can we get... Let's get into here. I want to see if we can get that truck. Let's see if we can get this guy. It's got a mortar going. It's got a couple of LRMs. Um, yeah, I'll just just use these. Okay, a little bit of damage. Not bad. We might be able to get them next turn. You know what I mean about politics and religion, though. It's like two touchy subjects that can d it can divide people really, really simply. Like it just doesn't take much if you get into a heated discussion about beliefs, right? And there's nothing wrong with having s different beliefs as long as you're not out to harm other people. You know. That's fine. And that's the one thing I've, I got to say about um, most of the conservative go governments um, nowadays. I'm not going to say for all time. They're very, they seem to be very divisive, which is something I just disagree with completely. Okay, that risk guy is dead. Hellion's going to shoot him in the back and he's all over for him next turn, I think. And I, I don't like divisiveness, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of people in the country. And yeah, we all see things differently. But we can come together and, like, make things work. It's not a problem with that. Multicultural, multiculturalism and melting pots. 
they both work as long as people are on board with it, you know. And personally, I prefer multiculturalism because I love the fact that our country is so diverse, you know. And it doesn't matter which person I talk to, they just seem to be all happy to be in Canada, right? And that's just the wonder, that's just the thing I like the most about it. Okay, so the hunchback's presenting us as his side here. So hopefully we can burn through that kill his torso. Although, is this, this is the, what is this? 4E. No idea what that is, though. Looks like he's the uh, wingman for this guy, probably. Okay, Goofy. Um, let's reserve you, because you're at the back here. Uh, and let's get Infiltrator up here. I don't think that Risk Urban Mech is going to be a threat. I think I think we're going to pull him down pretty quick. So let's just fire on... The, actually, we could... Three energy and one ballistic. Um... I want to go for the torso. He's got a lot of armor. I just want to try and burn through him. What's the OP giving us? 77. Not bad. You can't choose headshots anymore? 77% for the torso. Let's go after that torso. Ooh, that's a lot of hits. Now we get the torso, that's the question. Oh, I got a lot of leg shots on him. Okay, let's get in here. We're gonna go after that leg, I think. I think if we can knock his ass down, then we should be okay. Let's go after the leg. Okay, a few hits. Reporting. Building hit. Well, you open the door for Goofy. Oh. Ow. Can't take much more of that. Yes, command. Yeah. That guy's relatively quick, but he's a dumbass. Mm -hmm. I'm going. He's a dumbass. Welcome to the fight, buddy. Sure did. You smudged him. Oh, what? Oh, that's interesting. I thought we'd be able to continue to fight. Usually with those missions, you can continue to fight. Maybe I read it wrong. I don't know. 35% <clears throat> increase in contract payment. Just nice to have a little bit of extra sea bills to fix our max with. Hollander took a big hit in the torso there. Big hit. Maybe we can get something good out that at Irby. Let's see what we got here. So the risk for urban mech. I'm gonna take that part. Oh, uh, we don't have any urban mech parts. I think we sold them all. Which means if we're gonna build an urban mech. Well, this is an urban mech too. Is there anything else down here we want? Rocket five, BC energy. That's not bad. Fire control system advanced. Sensors tracker. Ah. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Uh, if my mouse doesn't uh, lock up. Which it did. Oh, come on. Really? On a scroll? Okay. Let's get this thing unplugged. Plugged back in. There we go. Okay, I think what we're going to do uh, is we'll take the sensor tracker, because I think we can use that on the on uh, the Apollo and the Archer, so we'll have two of them. And then I think what we'll do, um, Artemis 4 we've already got, so we don't need it. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to take the deputy dog piece. 
um, just to see once we get enough urban mech parts we can assemble both these guys the risk four and the deputy dog and see what we can get off them so let's go that route okay we got another urban mech part so at least we'll be able to see what these guys have um, core 105 nice mask uh, slick sweet beautiful single heat sink cooling no man eh, really uh, HE ammo okay so out of what was there this isn't too bad I guess okay 18,000 repairs just nothing so uh, let's get these guys back and just jump straight into another fight let's manage our tasks a bit better uh, Archer we don't care about right now actually you know what let's bring him up because I think it's gonna take five days for our mechs to or our uh, crew to be back anyway so we might as well leave the Archer fixing uh, so let's go ahead and get everything back beautiful all right now we can take another quick mission here we'll just find something fast um, and let's have a look here actually you know what let's just quickly look since we did get those max let's just see what they have on them uh, so the risk for urban mech um, hyper laser Irby can wield nearly unparalleled destructive capabilities as with all risk products must be used with a, with care Lest it explode or suffer a catastrophic misfire. Yeah, that would be bad. And then this is the deputy dog. Um, mounts a heavy mounts heavy armor and grown-up sized auto cannon. R60s are known for their speed. Okay. Um, grown-up sized auto cannon. Is this an ultra? Maybe I don't know. Um. It's got a supercharger mass combo, really, this guy. So this might be worth actually uh, getting... I don't know if we need the specific mech parts for these ones. Looks like we might, but we'll see. We'll, we'll hang on to them. If we get some more urban mech parts, we'll see if we can get them put together. All right, back to the Argo. Let's go in for another uh, command uh, center mission here. Let's try and take something that we can do relatively quickly. Reconquest. No, that's the one we decided was a bad idea. Mopping up. Here we go. Um, let's negotiate and yeah go that route and what we're going to do is we're going to limit our drop here just because we're ah forget it let's get the XP we need the XP so let's do it okay here we go last known position somewhere out there up to the left Two lances looks like we're going to burn through these guys fast. So let's go do it. Um, looks like it's just us. And we're up in a building. Um, we could target the building though, so that's good. Uh, it's going to take us a bit to get there. So let's just do this. Let's get our mech off of this building because she cannot jump, unfortunately. Engaging Whoops! <laughs> oh my god, I'm an idiot! <laughs> I'm just making sure you're all awake. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> he sounds pissed off. <laughs> Maybe it is better putting the arrow missile system on. I think about it more often than I think about these friggin' tag barrages. It's too bad you can't have a weapon state default on or off. We should. They should have that where it's like you can when you load in your your. Uh, your weapon is system is defaulted to off so I can make sure those things are always off oh man that was just so hilarious okay well it was for me not necessarily for uh, Hellion and everybody else but whatever <laughs> just making sure you're awake guys well it's gonna delay us a turn Unless Hellion can get through here. I think she probably can. Because she's got to walk for one turn. 
Now, I wonder if we can... I think we can stand in the water here, too. Let's see what these guys are doing. Who knows? Maybe this will crash, and then it, I can reload it, and you guys can be spared the uh, ridiculousness of this. Oh. Nope. It's not going to let me save face. That would just be too easy for me. Yep. Oh, was that an urban mech? Nope. Hammer. It's hammer time. Yeah, she's pissed. Sorry, that was my fault. Now I gotta be able to see. She can't move. She can't sprint, eh? Uh, and I can't. I don't have any. Uh, well, let's just move in here. We'll take a gamble that we can get through this way. I'm pretty sure we can just walk through all that shit. Well, there goes any money we're making off this mission. We're going to reserve. Alright, Goofy. Um, how do we want to push this? I think we want to wait. Make sure, make sure everybody is ready. So let's just move up here. We're going to brace. So we got... Okay, Gladiator, Hammer, Wolverine, nice. Another Wolverine, Striker, Bandit. I don't know if it's just a six. Order. Once again, we're just going to walk it up. No point in going too fast. See what they do. We'll round and brawl after that. Uh, Wolverine 50, 1R. What's the other guy? Where are you? They're both 1Rs. See, this would be a good time to have swarm missiles. Swarms are good. Don't get me wrong. I took them off because we weren't getting collection of, of mechs like this. They just We just weren't getting anybody bunching up, so I just gave up with it. Um... Got a better chance. 17 on the Gladiator. 17 on the other Wolverine. 20 Bandit Hovercraft. 22. Striker. Hammer. 22. Um, let's go after the Bandit. Maybe we can take it out. Unlikely, but... I'm just going to go with the better chance to hit. Yeah, well. Not going to get much out of that, I guess. Okay, Dallas, you got some weight behind you. Can we get a... We can. Do I want to, though? I think we want to wait. Let's get you into here. I want to make sure we get our rack up here before we really start... Uh, really start into these guys. Plus our... Um, Hades is completely out of uh, position here. Oh, that's interesting. See where we can get the Hades. Oh, we can get a shot on this guy. Let's just walk it. Oh, what do we got over here? Fire starter. A twisted fire starter. So they do have, probably have eight guys. Um... Uh, I'm going to go out to the fire starter. Oof, really? Engaging target. Yeah, well. Better have jump jets. Hmm. And you can't get through that way, because of course you can't. But, I copy. you know, uh, Hellion, I wouldn't be upset if one of your shots accidentally strayed into my back. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. I'm just letting you know that right now. Oof, good shooting. I can't believe I did. I can't, sorry, I totally can believe I did that. 
It's something I would do. Oh. That's a long way down, buddy. That's a long way down. very very long way down I think we're gonna see what kind of leg damage you can take from from uh, building fall okay that's all right you guys do you Let's see what these vehicles do Let's just turn this slightly like this hope they don't move while I'm doing it Okay, there's nowhere I was hoping we could kind of go across and fire back this way but we have a fire starter behind us so well I don't know we'll see what we do here we may wait for them to come around the corner oh hammer the MC hammer whole big 27 points and you'll be dead next turn Yeah, he's all yours, buddy. He wants to show his face like that. Just take it right off. I thought for a second there he was going to do a lot more damage than that. With a name like Hammer, you'd expect that, but... Oh, God, i got to stop doing that. Uh, this way. There we go. Uh, all right, Dallas. Um, want to destroy this building he's on? How much is it? 100 hit points. Can we take it down? We could if we hit with everything. What's the chance to hit this guy though? Oof. Yeah, it's no, we're going to go against the building. Shoot this building. Take out the Nakajima Tower. See ya. Okay, now, let's just check this guy out here. Completely unstable. Now, if I don't know if he had... I don't think he had full armor, did he? No, he's only down 75%. So we did... I don't know, it's a fair chunk of damage to the legs. And he's completely unstable. All right, let's move back. Uh, where? Here. Okay. Yes, Commander. This guy's yours. Farm. I want him gone, though. Oof. Not the best chances to hit, but we're going to shoot his back, so. Ooh, meltdown. Shouldn't be carrying incendiary ammo. Just saying. Uh, can we get eyes on these guys in the water? Can. I don't think hitting the uh, fire starter is going to be an option. So that's not bad against the Wolverine. He's got the AC5 and the pro most likely medium laser. That's actually pretty good too. That's actually better. Let's just fire on the fire starter. Eh. Not gonna fall, is he? Ready for order. Well, he will now, though. Let's knock his ass to the ground. Let's put a barrage on him, too. Might as well. Fuck up some more buildings over there. Ooh, man. He's going down! I believe we have some fire starter OD pieces. Uh, copy. Now, can we see this guy? We can. Let's fire a maneuver on the one that we shot at before. Is that this guy? Yeah. Right? Pretty sure it was this guy we hit before. 51, 32. Yeah, we're going to go up to this guy. Uh, we want to warlord this. Better chance to hit. No, I think we'll take this for now. 
We're not in a rush. And let's move forward so they can't see us. Beautiful. All, we're all ECM protected, so that's nice. Be nice to take the Wolverine parts off of this, but I want to see what comes up in the uh, list. It doesn't look like these guys have got anything advanced, so they may just end up being Wolverine parts, depending. Although if we get more Firestarter parts, I might take the Firestarter just so that we can uh, assemble it and sell it. Now, Fist of Dorm mentioned too that maybe it would have been better to sell the uh, the Jenner and keep the Hella. Uh, I'm just going to call it the Hella for now, the Hella 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 uh, whatever. I can't pronounce it. Um, the uh, the 75 tonner that we had, um, and I I don't know. It was a really hard decision. I thought about it um, that uh, this, that the Hella was. Uh, um, just a little over a mil million C bills to sell, and the Jenner is only like was a four hundred thousand or something, so it's a big difference in C bills, like six hundred thousand. So, and it might have been better to get that seventy-five tonner up and running, but because we're only running three parts, I think it's going to be probably easier to get a better, heavier mech, uh, and spend the money on that rather than spending a lot of C C bills on a mech that we're just going to get rid of eventually anyway. That's kind of how I feel about it. I don't know. I mean, I guess we could have gone either way. It's just that to get that 75 tonner up and running would it, I mean, I know it does have a lot more armor, but it would have been really slow. Um, and it wouldn't have been able to have what I wanted on it. So I think it was probably just better to sell it. Now, I could be wrong. Throw comments in the comment section what you think. But I uh, know it was a, it's, it was a tough decision. Wasn't def wasn't an easy decision by any means. All right, let's get up over here. And let's deal this guy some damage here. I'm going to put the barrage on him. I want to see if we can take this building down at the same time. Where did the barrage go? Oh, in the middle of the air. Okay. Sure. Because that's, you know, totally possible. Now, can we... Can. Let's just hammer this guy. Inflicted some heavy damage. And back it up. Back it up. Let's get into here. Right behind the building. Bust the knob. Reporting. What do you got eyes on, Goof? That's pretty good chances to hit there, I think. I don't think, well, we could go with the streaks on this guy, but I think we want to target this guy with everything, so let's do that. Firing. Beautiful. That would, be a kill. that would be a kill. Have no doubt, it will be done. I don't know, I almost don't want to change that uh, mech. I almost want to just leave everything on it the way it is. Uh, we want to target this Wolverine, or we want to go after... Better chances on this guy, so let's take them. Can we get a leg? We got a leg. Beautiful. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. So it's two knockdowns. And let's just tuck ourselves into here. Stabilize. Commander. Can you see that guy? You cannot. But you can if you move over here. So let's do that. Confirmed. I want to see if we can claim that uh, other leg here. 38%, huh? Oof, really? Let's see what we can do on him. If we get two hits with the rock on the leg, it's gone, but I don't know. A couple of hits. Looks like a pen somewhere. Maybe it was a leg hit. I don't know. I have no idea. Alright, we'll see you next turn.
Yeah, I don't know. I, I find this game the most interesting in the medium to heavy range. Because you can still run a light mech if you want, you know. But the medium to heavy range is, is great. The assault is, I mean, it's just tons of weapons. It's just whoever has the most weapons and can inflict the most damage in the shortest amount of time. I guess you could say the same thing for everything, but in the medium to heavy range, it really is about maneuverability as well. Like, you really have to be able to maneuver and, and um, avoid damage just as much as you can dish it out. And that's kind of the play I like. Like, I mean, if you look at my last uh, series, that's pretty much where we were at, right? All heavies. A couple of assaults, but pretty much all heavies. Um, let's shoot and move. See if we can get this leg. All right. Nope. Nope. Those two guys are trying to flank us, looks like. As long as we got a solid building wall in front of us, we're okay. Alright, now you should be able to pinpoint this guy, in theory. It's a little overkill, I think. Um, let's drop a couple of these guys off. Uh, you know what, let's make sure we get it. Got him, beautiful. Both legs. BTFU. Hmm. Uh, you don't have any direct line of sight to anything, do you? Let's get into here. Let's, ri let's rip this vehicle a new one. They're down to four. We're doing okay here. All right, let's finish up this vehicle. Uh-huh. That'll do. Let's go after the Wolverine. We shot him already, so... Just shoot him again. Now, we're not going to get a s shot on that guy from over there. But let's get you up over here. Hopefully get into some positions where you can either kill that vehicle or get in behind one of these guys next turn. Looks like this is all solid building here though. I don't know if we'll be able to see through it. But if we can get down to here maybe, or if these guys jump up. Yeah, we might be able to get that guy. Maybe. He's got his back to us now though. Yeah. Kind of weird positioning. Oh, there's a bandit. Where's he going? Trying to get the frig out of here. At least this battle, they're trying to flank, right? Yes, Commander. Can you get to... Oh, you can. Look at that. Here's a free kill for you. Alright, here, well, let's hope it's a free kill. He took a lot of damage, but he's still going. Okay. Alright. That's alright. Oh, we got no we didn't get a lot of sight. Full throttle. I know these guys can jump behind me and shoot me in the back. And it might not be the best move, but we're gonna hit this guy. I want him gone. Oh my god. Uh, let's reserve you. And reserve Gundal. And reserve Gundal again. I want to see what they do. Hellion. Can you get behind these guys? You can get a target on this guy though. Seems running the rack at four. 
stopping it from jamming, which is pretty nice. Might leave it there for for most battles. Come on, guys, what are you doing? Eh, not a bad move. Minimal damage. Receiving you. Oh, you're in trouble. Showed up to the wrong party. And there was two. See what this gladiator does. This guy we should be able to kill next turn, most likely. Depending on where he moves. I mean, we still got one mech left, so... The Hollander might be able to take it out this turn, depending on where it moves. God, he's just running away. Let's finish it up. Let's just finish it up. If we can. And fire. Confirmed. Oof, not quite. Critical hit, Commander. Reporting. Awaiting orders. Didn't want to waste Goofy on this guy, but we'll we'll do it. We'll do it. It's got better targeting. I wanted to use him on the mech, but whatever. Nice. That's a kill. Um. Okay, I don't want this guy jumping behind behind me and shooting me in the back, so I'm just gonna move to here. And we'll reserve. See what he does. Okay, let's get into here. We'll be on this guy next turn. If he's not already dead. Yes, come in. Okay. I'm on it. Artemis 4, let's drop some missiles on this guy. Meh. Guys, all yours. Location confirmed. Let's wind that rack up, please. And here it comes. Fire. Never turn your back to a rack. Mission successful. All right, thirty-eight thousand. Not bad. That should cover the re the repairs that I inflicted on us early in the match. Uh, let's see here. So we do have OD pieces. We can assemble an OD. We can assemble a 1R. The thing is, though, is this thing's got ERPPCs, right? 45 tonner with ERPPCs. Um, Omnimech fire starter. Four, six, and four. Four support points and eight jump jets. It's pretty versatile. Two, two, and one. Ah, God, what a choice, eh? We only get two anyway, so we would not be able to assemble the uh, Wolverine anyway. So let's go for the OG, I think. Um, not a lot else down here. So let's go ahead and do that then. Confirm it. Yeah, we got a hammer part. Eh, no big deal. Another Guardian ECM. Beautiful. Endosteel. Nah, garbage. 
All right, 55,000, 10 days for repair. That's my fault. Ah, destroying our bottom line. What else is new though, right? All right, let's manage our tasks. Let's get the archer up here. It's two more days, and then we can get this thing outfitted. Uh, Centurion, yeah. The rest. Actually, let's get the Apollo up. So we'll be pulling stuff off that. Let's get the Hellspawn up. I might be pulling stuff off that. Um, yeah, and the rest is just fine. All right, let's quickly before we go, I want to check out that fire starter. Let's go into storage. So we do have a Kit Fox and a Jenner 2C, which we can get rid of if we want to make some C-bills. But we do have, where are you here? Did I sell that stupid fire starter? Did I sell the fire starter? Oh, it's 45 tons. Durr. That's why. There it is. The OD. Three pieces. Beautiful. So, let's ready this guy. Guardian ECM. LRM5. ERPPC. Let's have a look here what we get out of it. Looks like most of the stuff's destroyed here. Well, I mean, it could be way worse. Left arm is gone. ERPPC we get. Nice. Let's see what the repair is on this. 131,000. It's pretty low. It is an Omnimex, so everything else stays in, stays, stays the same in here. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's a good optional mech. The fact that it's an Omni makes it easier to repair and upkeep. What if we max the armor on this guy? What are we at now? Six days. Yeah, let's do that for now. And we can figure out what we're going to do later. Built-in comm suite. Oh, is that built-in? No, it's not. Cool. Um, so that's kind of a bonus. Guardian ECM. Yeah. No lower arm, though. Ah, well. Still, though, not bad. ERPPC, a couple flamers. You know, I don't know. We'll see what we do with this guy. Let's just confirm this. We may end up stripping and selling it. I don't know. But we'll hang on to it for now. All right. Going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to jump planets between episodes. I'm going to get everything up and running. Uh, we'll get, we're going to have the archer ready for the next battle. Get that up and running. Uh, and depending on what we do, I don't know, I may, may make the fire starter another scout mech, like the Hades. Or sorry, like the um, uh, Hellspawn. But we'll see how it goes. I don't know. Uh, yeah. All right, so I'm going to end the episode there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.